We're taking you behind the scenes and up close and personal today with the gigantic Disney Princesses as Fairies group by Glimmerwood. Hello and welcome to the Queendom. I'm Sarah Ingle and today we're gonna take you up close and personal with some of the amazing fairy princess, princess fairy. They're basically Disney princesses reimagined as fairies from the mind of Glimmerwood. Cassie of Glimmerwood. I have one of the costumes here today. You may have seen these costumes at D23. If you don't know what D23 is, if you're not, we'll explain that to you. D23 is basically the biannual Disney conference that happens in Anaheim. And it's a big convention full of Disney people. Isn't that awesome? If you wanna see more about what happens at one of these things, make sure you check out the vlog. There's a whole vlog of all three days. I went all three days. I went in costume all three days. But the second day, Saturday, is kinda of like the big day where people really go really all out with the costumes. And I was lucky enough to be part of Glimmer Woods Disney Princesses as Fairies group. So we had the fairy godmother, little Glimmer as Cinderella, Maleficent, Ariel, Ursula, Belle, Pocahontas, Esmeralda, Meg, Tiana, Rapunzel, Anna, Elsa, Moana, and the fairiest of them all. Snow White. I've never really been Aurora in public before, so I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna look as this. I've also never been a fairy before, so I was like, I really don't know how I'm gonna look, but I'm excited because I get wings, and I'm also excited because all of Cassie's stuff looks amazing. When I say Cassie, that just means Glimmerwood. It was like, actually felt magical to see that many fairies like parading about. So basically we met Glimmerwood at, she had a hotel room where we all met, and the fabulous Rhapsody. If you guys don't know Rhapsody, you definitely need to follow her on Instagram. I'm really glad she was there, because she was like, oh no, we're gonna make fabulous fairy Aurora. And so she made me feel so pretty. I was laughing, I put it in an Instagram story. I was like poking my face. I was like, I don't even look real, this is awesome. Everybody was super nice. She's just a great group of people. And then Hello Fairy did all the wings. Cassie of Glimmerwood made all of the costumes and she designed the wings. She designed them and Hello Fairy made all of them. There are six different types of wings that Cassie designed. There were classic, water, flower, fast, light, and animal. I should have known the animal. Why did I say animal and just say that was my own? I had animal. Once we put the wings on, things got to be a little complicated because we're all in one hotel room. It's a big hotel room, but we're like all have wings on, trying not to poke anybody's eyes out. It was a little crazy. Yikes. Oh, no. I'm like, ah, I'm hitting That's people so in the cool. face. I'm hitting people in the face. And then one of my favorite parts was just like, parading over because obviously we can't get in a car with fairy wings on. So we like had to walk over to the convention center in a row, like, and we were a parade of fairies and it was amazing. It was so obvious, we were like Disney princesses as fairies. So as you can imagine, we definitely turned some heads. And once we got there, we got into taking photos and one of the craziest things about the whole experience is they basically like, I don't know how to explain it, like shut down D23 to get like, they blocked off, they were going to do like press photos and stuff, everything was bro blocked off for press. They blocked it all off, brought in all like the Disney press crew, so I believe like there was Disney, like someone from Disney Tokyo, all like the different Disney press was there and they put us all up on like in front of the fountain. Cassie was like right at the top, right in the middle with her gigantic, fairy godmother wings. Her wings were massive. Like, everybody's wings were pretty big, but hers were huge. And she was right at the top. And it was just so like, oh, she had her moment. Cause so Cassie thought of this and did like a Disney bound of this years and years and years ago. Like what, like 10 years ago or something like that? 
maybe even longer the first time because they did a Disney bound of this and she'd always had this, this vision in her head that she wanted to make the Disney princesses as fairy. So she has been such like a long time coming and she had been working for just so many hours poured into this to make all these costumes. <laughs> and it was like such a cool moment to see that for her and like just to be part of it was amazing. I will link everybody in the description below so you can check out obviously costuming, all of our fairies, where Cassie got my wig, where the wings came from, who did our lovely makeup. So you can see all of that below. Follow all of them on Instagram and you should um, send them all a message and tell them all their beautiful, wonderful, lovely people and, and fangirl over them. All right, so time to pull out this costume that I know you guys have been dying to see, all these little details. I sound like an evil villain right now. Without any further ado, ta-da! <laughs> okay, so this on top here is just the skirt, so I guess we'll start with the skirt. One thing you might not know, it's every single one of the fairies had a hidden Mickey in their costume. To just see if you can find the hidden Mickey. Actually, I'll show you where mine is. But if you see the detail shots of anybody else's costume, you should look and see if you can find their hidden Mickey. I've never been a fairy before, never been Tinkerbell, and I don't think I've ever even put the wings on. So this was so new for me. And what's funny is, I wound up loving my costume, the Aurora costume, the most. I'm so obsessed with the pink blue ombre. It looks incredible. So these look like real flower petals and Cassie hand dyed them. And she's got these like little details, like her name sewn into it. And then th the things pulled into it to make it look like Aurora as a fairy. But it's like, the perfect amount so it doesn't feel too heavy to be a fairy. Whoa, I'm caught on my on my watch. I'm so obsessed with the faded pink to blue. The colors in this were like my favorite part about the whole thing. Make it blue or make it pink? Yes. It's just so pretty. I wanna keep it and wear it every day. By the way, I should say like Cassie's so on point with this. There were no try and nobody tried theirs on ahead of time. We just showed up that day and everybody's fit perfectly. And I'm a hard person to fit. I think she said this was the smallest she'd ever made this. I'm a very small human. Oh. Like, I love this top up here. It's so Aurora, but the way she did it, it feels like a flowery fairy. The boning in this was so like solid and just quality. Everything about this just screams quality. The, and the time to hand dip dye all of this. I love like, I don't even know where she found applique that like fits so perfectly on her. I think she sewed like these little beads and I'm just, I'm just mesmerized by it. And the, the crystals and the fit. You can see the back, you can see the boning and these pretty lace the panels. I just, oh, here. Okay, one of my favorite little details. Her glimmer wood embroidery on the inside is pink and blue. And so you guys, look at these. These are miraculously light for as like beautiful and sturdy as they are. These are so pretty. And I love that they have just the right amount of bend. So when you move with them, it looks like they're real wings. It looks like they're fluttering. And I was having way too much fun <laughs> being like, woo! So you see there's crystals on these as well. And it goes from pink into blue into pink again, because you know, Make it blue, make it pink. Again, if you're looking for wings, Hello Fairy makes some beautiful wings. And whatever this is, I don't know what kind of magical material this is, but it's like, it's fairy wing. I almost feel bad. I feel like they ripped them off a fairy. That wouldn't be fairy nice. Look, now my face is a fairy. Woo! Woo! Okay, I'm gonna put these away now before I make this any more awkward for anybody watching. <laughs> so you guys, if you ever need like a fantastic costume or like a beautiful gown, you guys like highly, highly, highly recommend Glimmerwood. This is 
<laughs> it's so pretty. Like I said, I'm gonna wear it forever. Or I would wear it forever. It, um, but that might be a little weird. Oh, I almost forgot. You waited till the end, so you know what you get to see? The hidden Mickey. He's right there, he's crystal. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed seeing this little behind the scenes and up close and personal with these amazing costumes and kind of like some of the insight into the backstory when you see these like crazy giant cosplay groups in our case. The Disney Hollow, Disney princesses, and really like Disney characters because they're not all princesses, um, but as fairies. So cool to be part of that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Cassie, for letting me be one of your fairies. It was very nice of you. <laughs> Tell me in the comments down below, are you team pink or are you team blue? Make sure you guys give us a thumbs up if you think that Cassie makes very nice costumes. And make sure you subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this, because we put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Also, ring that little bell. It's like a little fairy bell. Ding, ding, ding. And you ring it more fairies come not actually you ring it and then you actually are notified when there's new videos because otherwise YouTube probably won't tell you anyways thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time <laughs> Yoda fairy that would be fun I want to see Yoda as a fairy Cassie, Cassie. I'm fine, I'm just gonna wear this every day now. I'm just gonna be Aurora Fairy from here on out. I'm just be like, hello, welcome to the queendom. I am Aurora Fairy and I wear this every day till the end of time. They're gonna bury me in an Aurora Fairy costume and I'm like, huh, that's weird. And I'll be like, yeah.